The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> Woo! Thank you very much, Scotty. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. My name is Jeremy Joseph, and I don't know that I've ever discussed this, but my pronouns are they, it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, is there a she in there? Nope. The shit? Nope. Oh. I either want to be referred to as plural or as not a human. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And also another excellent stand-up comedian. He is the 2021 Funniest Person in Wichita winner, Mr. Derek Alders. Yes, that is right. Whoa, <laughs> Jesus Christ. What? Gerbil just shot out of your ass. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Scotty. Holy shit. There he goes. <laughs> I'm like, are you I should report you. God. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know you had that extra one up there? Yes, I, I didn't know. Shit. I thought you had gotten them all out. Oh, uh, yeah. Jesus. I know. I know. Fucking gerbils. Gerbils. I think I can They're smell creepy. it. creepy. They got tails. <laughs> well, welcome into another great episode. This is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports, and uh, better yet, inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, 95% of the time, those jokes are targeted towards me, and I'm okay with it. This is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make loud noises, so if you don't like that kind of thing you're in the wrong fucking place get out of here thanks bye all right well after the uh you know the afc championship game the nfc championship game we got a lot of sports to talk about believe it or not do we no not really okay yeah <laughs> i Just, thought i thought something happened like that i didn't know about that yeah so uh, a lot but, of volleyball action on this podcast <laughs> that's right uh, that and uh, hobby, more hobby horsing. Uh, I mm. saw I saw Bob Mennery do some hobby horsing. Hobby horsing yeah. or yeah. baby? Mm-hmm. I don't know better. what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we've got a full show, as always. We've got Bad Advice with Jeremy, which is becoming my favorite new uh, segment. We get, we got. Uh, Can over- we just end with that? We should. Let's just do it and <laughs> get out of here. Over- I like that idea. Nice and tight. <laughs> over- Derek comes <laughs> in. He says hello. He says goodbye. <laughs> Cue oh, the piano, piano, Chuck. Yep. <laughs> Overrated, underrated, and uh, questions for Gunta's. Another draft and a shitty situation, as always. But before we get on to that, we're going to go over what happened to us over the last week. So this is our week, week recap. And. Uh, Derek. Yeah, what? What'd you do? Well, I went and got to go meet the hardcore legend himself, Mr. Uh-huh. Mick Foley. Mm-hmm. That was awesome. Yeah? I had a blast. I actually sat there like a fucking child with a smile on my face the entire time. I'm sure. Not so much comedy as much as more of it was storytelling. Yeah. So he, uh, Aaron Hahn did about five or ten minutes and did really well. Yeah. And then uh, Mick Foley came on, and just a lot of stories. The last half hour or forty five minutes, he did. He just did Q and A with the audience, really, which was cool. I asked. Uh, asked. He's him never what, really claimed to be doing stand up. No, he, he's never just Mick Foley live yeah, just or his whatever stories yeah. and shit. Yeah, I brought in a steel chair for him to sign. Nice. So I do have that. That's cool. Uh, inscribed. Have a nice day. Nice. Um, he even went into character. He brought a mask. So he took a picture with me with the mask, Let's without a that. mask. Yeah. And then one with it. That's Which was cool. pretty cool. And he even went and cut like a promo that he did. Really? Like that one he was real famous for, like when he first came up with uh, as Mankind. Yeah. And cut, and he cut the promo right there, right in character and everything. And it oh was. Oh, my. It was, I mean, it's amazing. The guy is incredible. And it was just, he, there isn't a nicer guy. I, my, the question I asked him, uh, I asked him. Uh, what his favorite hazing story was, and he said that he actually doesn't like hazing. Really? And that uh, there he doesn't really have any good stories about that. He doesn't like that. He thinks it's mean. Uh, they, he did have like a Yeah, little, it's mean. Yeah, it's fucking <laughs> That's mean. That's the point. <laughs> yeah. But he's like, he uh, sucks. But he's like, he said some like joke or something that they did, which that's kind of what I meant. I guess hazing was the wrong word. But uh, 
So then he we, let me fuck it up. We used to tie up, the Derek. new guys down and fuck them in the ass <laughs> so with a was, hammer handle. So he's like, yeah, and I really just don't like that. It just makes people feel bad, and I, I don't like people feeling bad. He goes, which I kind of think I just did to you by an, not answering that question. Yeah. He goes, so uh, I, I kind of just hazed you, and I liked it. <laughs> That's what he did. <laughs> and then he goes, uh, I'll, he, he let me ask another question a little bit later, which was pretty cool, too. Cool. So, so he doesn't like hazing people, but he's cool with going out in public and beating the shit out of them. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He doesn't want to hurt their feelings, just their face. <laughs> so, gotcha. yeah, it was, it was cool. I really enjoyed that. And then, guys, I've discovered the secret to time travel. Oh, oh really? I have. It is a bottle of Jameson, <laughs> and you'll wake up not knowing what the fuck happened. I mean, it's fast. It seems like it's slow, but it literally it went from last night to today like boom. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. So my wife's not speaking to me, so I think it also made her mute. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. But, uh, nice. That's, a, that's the luck of the Irish right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then when you time travel, one, I guess one of the rules is you're not allowed to sleep in your own bed. You have to sleep mm. on the couch. And uh-huh. a puddle of piss. And <laughs> yeah, that was the next thing I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so I mean, there are some side effects to it. They haven't quite perfected it. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. It's not quite like on Avengers. <laughs> yeah. Where they go through that and got the cool bracelet. You just... Yeah. Piss yourself. You have to have a full <laughs> stomach, but not too full. That's why you only sure. eat like four nuggets. Sure. Um, yeah. But yeah. Yeah. hundred uh, percent. Did you do anything else? Anything no, else that, that was it. That was it. Oh, Watch the Chiefs lose. Yeah. Oh yeah. We'll get to that in a ah, second. God, my dick was harder <laughs> than my arteries. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I guess on uh, my week, uh, I played golf with the, let's put it this way. I went out with, with my buddy, Bob. We playing golf, and we end up catching up to this guy that's in front of and us. You became more than buddies. <laughs> no. Did you propose? No. Did you finally do it? No. Oh. Uh, but anyways, we, we were playing later in the day, and there's this this guy that's all by himself that's in front of us that we think from a distance we don't think he's very good, and we keep on like catching up to him, but it's like right whenever he's you know hitting uh, off the tee box, and so mm-hmm. we just kept on like feel like we we're on his ankles. We just ask him the next uh, chance we got. Hey man, can I go ahead and can we go ahead and just play with you? And he goes, Yeah, sure. So this guy, Jeremy, I shit you not, he was probably six foot six feet tall, but he was about as round as you are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've never so- seen a golfer play better golf than than, than this guy. So he's in pretty good shape. What, holy shit! Was it me? No. No, because I don't remember golfing, but I had a lot of Jameson. (laughs) (laughs) You took some lessons and time Mm -hmm. traveled straight to... I did. I don't even remember <laughs> buying the Jameis. <laughs> no, I, I kid you. I mean, me and Bob can hit a golf ball pretty fucking far. This guy was out driving us by 100 yards. I, I shit you not. God, we, so he was hitting like 200-yard drives. 300, 360 easy. Was he uh, using a ball bat? Because that'll no, help. No. No, me and Bob can Wood or aluminum club? Which one? Uh, definitely wood. Um, but yeah, it was absolutely impressive. Like the worst hole that he had, I think was, was a, his asshole was a, t- <laughs> that's probably the worst one was a tap in part. Actually, no, that was pretty nice. I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd, yeah. I'd take an ear any day over an asshole. <laughs> yeah, that mm-hmm. one's okay. Uh, so I did that. Uh, I went live on TikTok a couple nights ago and, uh, Justin Nunnally sent me a message while I was on the, uh, on the live. Did he tell you you were a piece of shit to kill yourself? No. Uh, uh, listen, did you know you're a real <laughs> dick bag? <laughs> Now yeah. you do. Now you do. <laughs> <laughs> no shit though. He sends a or he he sends me a message. He goes, "You're not going to believe what I'm going to send you tomorrow." And I'm like, "What the fuck are you sending me?" And then he sends a picture, and it's a signed Tony Gwynn jersey. And I took that, and I was at, at first. I, I hope was, he sends you a picture of that jersey. Me too. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> I it is. thought I thought that he legitimately was getting ready to send me the new in a frame signed Tony Gwynn jersey that I've been looking for for years, and that's the way I took it. And I was actually kind of upset. I was just like, "No, you're not fucking sending that to me. I swear to God, if you do, I will send it back." No, what he was gonna do was send me a picture of the fucking jersey. So I kind of made a fool out of myself. Nice. Uh, and that, oh yeah, I, I, but I ended up calling him and I. God damn, I've, about it. I've pre-guessed your joke and his. <laughs> yeah, he's a I'm good the job. smartest guy. I'm the best detective in this room. I sure. don't yeah. think that's it at all. I think you time traveled to see that. that could be. Yeah, that's exactly what you did, Jeremy. Uh, and then last but where's not, the Jameson? Yeah, he <laughs> 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 brought a butt, chugged it. <laughs> I haven't heard that shit in a long time. 
Hashtag butt chug. Uh-huh. Uh, and last but not least, I'm kind of pumped. Uh, we are going to be live uh, this Sunday with Ginger Crush. Derek's not. He's better than all of us. Uh, but myself and Jeremy are uh, going to be with Ginger Crush live just to make the Pro Bowl better. Uh, it's not going to be a, a scripted podcast. It's going to be us just uh, shooting the shit, watching the Pro Bowl, and, uh, you know, chatting. So. If I had my way about it, we will not be watching <laughs> the Pro Bowl. We will yeah. be watching anything else. Right. But anyway, that was my week. Okay. Jeremy. Oh, my turn. Yeah, it's your, your turn. All right. Um, let's well, get to let's the see. Meat here. Yeah, All right. Best part. Yeah. yeah, right here. Uh, I cut the cord last uh, last week for the first time in since we've had our so? service with our. Uh, oh. no, yeah. <laughs> we finally you're cut his umbilical cord. You're supposed to he's, cut that he, when he's born. He's 23 years old. Man, that thing was nasty. <laughs> he doesn't wash it worth a shit. I told him, you don't take care of this. I'm going to cut it off. <laughs> No, for the first time since we've had service with Cox Cable, we finally were able to drop our home phone line without it costing us more money. Oh, my on goodness. Our bundle. Oh. So I no longer have a home phone. I am now in this century. How do you call people? <laughs> yeah. I just play, hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Try it now! <laughs> um, so I got that going for me. And then, uh, let's see, on, uh, when was it, Friday evening, yeah. my wife was cooking something, as she should, <laughs> and uh, she had to go to the grocery store, which we live very close to one of those Walmart neighborhood markets, uh-huh. and uh, she goes there, uh, she gets a couple of things, she comes back, and she goes, well, they didn't have what I needed, so I have to go get it at Dylan's. so now i got to change my pants. <laughs> and i just look at her and she starts to explain and i go nope <laughs> no nope. do not explain this you just leave it at that go change your pants <laughs> i just want to keep it in my head we all know of, of what may have happened i'm guessing walmart makes her extra wet <laughs> but I, I don't even i really don't want to know just the fact she's got to change pants. She's got separate Walmart pants. <laughs> God, so um, you would hate to see what she has to wear to Target. Mm, I know, right? <laughs> like, a, God, a now suit. I got to shower. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to Target. Oh, God. Now I got to shave my balls. <laughs> um, Just one ball. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Saturday, uh, I worked on Saturday and then uh, came home. Went and grabbed some tools, and I went and helped our friend Biggs. Yeah. Having some problems with his uh, shower. And as we all know, I'm a whiz with plumbing. Uh, (laughs) Did he get a new pool in the basement? (laughs) We'll see. (laughs) I know it uh, it stopped leaking in the bathtub, so, yeah, it's probably in the basement. (laughs) Um, And then uh, Sunday morning, uh, we got together with uh, good friend Dan the Man, had some breakfast. Cool. Oh, so nice. I was trying to uh, hang out with him all week, and he just kept blowing me off. Yeah. Well, he, he mentioned that. <laughs> Derek keeps calling He said me. not to tell you, <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't. I saw all of you guys got to meet Mick Foley a whole bunch. I'll, I didn't. Much. Well, a, a bunch of the guests that we've had on the show, I saw Dan the Man, I believe, met Mick Foley. Yeah, he and, helped sell his merch. Yeah, and yep. then uh, I saw um, the Green Bay Packer fan met. Mick Foley. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron Mick, Von, Eric, uh, Eric Von Riker. Yeah. Mick actually did not want a picture with him. <laughs> uh, but I guess Allison, Eric's wife, was real quick with the camera. And right after that picture was taken, Eric went through a fucking table. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, but anyways, did you have any uh, do anything else there, Jeremy? Did you watch any good shows? We need the we need the weekly um, peacemakers. You know, I watched those art, of course. Okay. I, I got one to go. I haven't yet. Still good? Yeah, okay. that is. It's maybe better. Actually, wow. I had two. To, I had two to go, and then I think I time traveled through that second <laughs> okay. episode. So I should go back and watch it probably, again. Probably should. Yeah. Uh, I got into a, a show called Main Cabin uh, Masters. Have you heard or seen this? It's on Discovery Plus. That's the only way I found it. Does it take uh, place in Maine? It takes place you, in Maine. Oh, That's well, enough then, for no. me not to watch Nuh-uh. it. Oh. You, you put that shit in Delaware or you get it <laughs> off the fucking screen. <laughs> I uh, I am going to retire in Maine. Uh, oh, you, you know, have you so thought good. about retiring right fucking now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Right now. Right now. <laughs> Is it a cabin full of lobsters? No. 
That no. would be great. It's on the lake. There are a whole bunch of lakes, though. And oh, my goodness. Well, they say Maine is the land of a thousand lakes. Right. Of course they do. <laughs> Surprised they didn't get called the Lakers in their professional sports teams. Yeah, all of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways. Uh, so, they're big yeah. lobsters, too, because everything's bigger than Maine. Yeah, sure it right. is. That's bigger right. and better. That's right. Uh, you don't mess with Maine. <laughs> no. And, um, do you, you do you think they even have like a minor league baseball team or anything in Maine? Yes, I believe do they? they do. Uh huh. I'm pretty what sure. The, what if they're the veins? <laughs> <laughs> the main veins. I would love to see that. <laughs> you don't want to know what the mascot is. <laughs> oh, You're yeah. right. We'll keep that in the lockbox of my wife's pants. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking great. It's uh, time for your main <laughs> veins. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know what their mascot is, but they need to change it <laughs> yeah. immediately. Uh, but anyways. It um, is what we say it is. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anything else you do? Uh, you, you said you watched those arc. Did you watch any other news? Jesus shows? Christ, what are you pressuring me for? I want, I want you to be the critic, man. Um, Jay Sherman over here. Yeah. <laughs> it stinks. Yeah. <laughs> I love that show. <laughs> <laughs> John Lovett. Yeah. I always liked the Australian friend of his. The B, oh, yeah. B Crocodile Dundee. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did anybody die this week? Yeah. Uh, actually, <laughs> actually, yeah. Some uh, real, real sad news in Wichita Comedy. Somebody died. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. Uh, we lost Mike Burke this week. He was 30, 31 years 30, old. 30, I believe. Oh, my. Yep. That so sucks. he's uh, bad in his sleep. He so. worked at the Looney Bin. He used to work the door, and he yeah, did, did comedy too. And he was, I believe, he participated in the Wichita's Funniest. He this did, year. and I he was one of the few that would always make me laugh, even if it was something ridiculous. He used to go on this rant about how he couldn't be Batman. Yeah, I heard that, and it used to make me laugh because it was so it was just so dumb that it was funny. Because he's like, yeah. well, look, there's no way. Like, what, what's what's your name? And the lady in the front row would be like Gladys. He's like, Gladys, there's no way I could be Batman. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Like, I mean, he's out fighting crime at night. I'm up here doing comedy. It just wouldn't work. And then he'd start to talk about something else. He's like, I mean, just think about this, Gladys. And then he would do this for like five minutes. <laughs> Dude, don't and, burn his material. Yeah, no it's kidding. fucking hilarious. Oh, shoot. Well, that is, that's sad. But. So, it's it's yeah, it was really sad to hear. Um, all right. Well, we do have a lot of sports uh, to go over, mainly mainly only, you know, the championship games. But before we do that, I'm going to give a shout-out to our sponsor, Manscaped.com. And I have to tell you. I'm actually not sponsored by Manscaped.com anymore. You're not? Nope. I went to .edu. Oh, mm -hmm. good for mm -hmm. you Manscaped. guys. Manscaped.edu. Uh-huh. Check them out. Yep. They'll shave your kids' balls. <laughs> I uh, I am very well. Teach your kids how to shave right, their own yeah. balls. Yeah, it's uh, but it's pretty hands on. Mm -hmm. It sure is. Yeah. Uh, so I found out over this last week that uh, my wife uses my lawnmower for four point oh. Well, How's her balls? balls? <laughs> 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 They're good, man. They're yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. I uh, bigger than yours. I sure. I don't sure. think she uses it like you think she uses it, Scotty. <laughs> it does vibrate. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. She uses it like I use it. <laughs> I uh, know, but I'm, I'm don't so, smell it. Uh, yeah. They say from hole to pole, and I took that literally. <laughs> I let's shaved see. the inside of my ass. <laughs> I said, "Let's see how deep this trope goes." <laughs> uh, but I found that out, and uh, shockingly, I'm like, "Oh, well, that makes sense because it's always smooth and doesn't look cut up." So good, good, good on you, honey. Uh, but uh, any, anybody else? Better uh, dick looks great. <laughs> 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 really makes her clit look bigger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, Manscaped.com. They have a whole bunch of excellent products, new products as well. They've got the crop cleanser out now. They've got their own body wash um, uh, and the lawnmower 4.0. But my favorite's the, the weed whacker, you know. That's my favorite. Wait, wait. Let me ask you this. Yeah. And this isn't really a Manscaped question, just about body wash in general. Uh -huh. How they always have separate body wash and then shampoo. Mm -hmm. uh, isn't your head a part of your body? Yeah. But They're lying. But it's They're hair. fucking liars. At least Manscaped has the balls, literally, yeah. to well-shaved balls. <laughs> right. They've got to, the market to by the say balls. it. They, you fucking use this on your head. It's part of your body. Mm -hmm. Just do it. Right. Manscaped. That's, that's They're the, not fucking liars. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they got the, the shears. Did you go home and shear your nails after last episode? I, uh, it was episode before last. Oh, before but yeah. Last, sorry. Well, that's good. They got a whole bunch of other products. He's growing them out. Yeah, I am. You should. 
<laughs> Go on. I want to. I want to get in that Guinness Book of World Records. Right? <laughs> that is the most disgusting thing I've Jeremy's ever seen. Come over here with socks on his hands. <laughs> oh, uh, but they, check them out. They have a whole bunch of excellent products at Manscaped.com. Use the promo code Sidelines get twenty percent off of your order and free shipping. That helps us out, helps you out, and lets Manscaped know that we are doing these commercials word for word. They, and we are reading them straight from the script, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Yep. They wanted me to make sure I told you guys about my wife using my lawnmower. I don't know that I've ever actually seen the script. <laughs> if I yeah. have, it's been so long ago. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's been a, it's been a minute, but check them out. Manscaped.com. Okay. We got sports to get through. Mm. Uh, the first thing that's not on our, our list that I did want to talk about, because we didn't last week, but apparently, uh, but right when we sat down, Derek pulled it up. Apparently, Air, Antonio Brown apparently thinks that he does not have mental issues, and it's uh, he's acting the way he is because of his high IQ. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, no, nothing will convince people of that more than a statement <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he I knew says he was, that, and I'm like, genius. <laughs> that's that's guys. what I thought when he was parading around his underwear there We're, on the sideline. I'm uh-huh. like, this man is a fucking genius. <laughs> <laughs> he should be praying that he has some sort of mental illness, honestly. Because uh-huh. if you're just naturally a prick like this, yeah, then that's even worse. Mm-hmm. If, if you act the way he does and there's nothing wrong with you, Oh my God! Kill yourself. Yeah, <laughs> like you know, like somebody with fucking a mental illness. A mental illness would. Uh, but there's Edit that. that out. Yeah. That's awful. <laughs> nah, leave that in. No, nah, we gotta leave it. Right. Right. Make a TikTok of yeah. it. <laughs> That's right. Uh, but anyways, in other news, uh, we've got a lot of hired coaches already. Josh McDaniels is hired uh, to be the head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders. Not okay. too surprised about that one. I think that's a good hire for them. You think, what if he just jumped ship again? Yeah. Like he did with Indy, where uh, he's yeah. like, yeah, hey, you know what? Actually, fuck it. <laughs> I'm going to go back to Belichick. Yeah. I'd he's like got- to see him actually start his own jug band. Uh huh. The Josh McDaniels band. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know. It sounds like it would just be good. Yeah. Some bluegrass. Uh huh. Or, uh, or the reggae. I think would be okay. Absolutely not. I don't, I don't <laughs> think. Come on. I really don't think Ray's that way. Oh, I think okay. he's pretty normal. Uh, not normal, but straight. I don't think yeah. he's gay. It's straight. <laughs> it's straight. Ray straight. Yeah. Uh, but the other one. God damn it. I hate them homos so much. I only listen to Ray straight. Uh, and uh, Don't be sucking no wieners near me. <laughs> don't even look at me, you gross uh, fucker. Brian DeBull goes to the here, Giants. Here. And that, and you were happy about that. Obviously. No, he should have been. Should have been a bear. No, you you didn't want him to get it. No, I wanted Brian Dable. Oh, oh I didn't and, know that. And that's like the perfect last name to be in Chicago. It's just reminiscent of that '80s SNL uh-huh. skit. Uh-huh. Who's the coach? Dable. Oh, that would have <laughs> like, been. Perfect. That would have been fucking perfect. That would have been perfect. So yeah, but I mean, why not? Why would you hire an offensive coordinator to mentor Probably a second year of NFL that. quarterback? Yeah, but instead they hired they a, Polish. A, hired a defensive guy. Surprisingly enough. Yay! What do you think? You're the. <laughs> <laughs> You're the freaking Chicago Bears fan. It's fucking awful. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, Matt Christ. Eberfius? Eberfluss. Oh, good God. Which sounds like something that Daffy Duck would say. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's <laughs> Matt Eberfluss. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it sounds like. Eberfluss in him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's uh, my Matt favorite Matt Eberfluss slogan. is a pet coach of the Chicago Bears. Yeah. Like, it's, he's fucking. I didn't even hear about this guy. He, he's, uh, he's, meh. It's, yeah, I, out of the three finalists they had, which I still think is stupid that the GM gets there, and then one day later, he just so happened to narrow his coaching list down to what George Ellis and all of them narrowed theirs down to. Oh, I'll be darned. So uh, it was Jim Caldwell, Matt Eberfuss, and uh, <laughs> and uh, who was the third one? Uh, Les- was it Leslie Frazier? I don't know. No, Dan Quinn. Oh, Dan oh, Quinn. Damn it. Th- those were the three, oh. and uh, apparently – one guy wanted Caldwell, uh, the owners wanted Flynn or not or Quinn, and he wanted Eberflus. He went on his own to go get him. Mm, wow! <clears throat> and uh, oddly enough, Eberflus is that condition that people get when they put take gauges out of their earlobes, and now they got floppy ears. That's known as Eberflus. <laughs> oh, you don't. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. So um, then we made a he made the first move of hiring our offensive coordinator, which is the quarterback coach for the Green Bay Packers. Oh wow! Who has just done wonders with jordan love so i am pumped here's what's gonna happen in four years 
Aberforth <laughs> is going to get fired. <laughs> and we're going to have the number one overall pick. Okay. And it's going to be Arch Manning. Okay. That's what I think is going to happen. Okay. Fair, that, fair enough. That's, uh, that's a lot. We're going to suck. Oddly <laughs> enough, he actually has his quarterbacks practice their drills by throwing footballs through the holes in his yeah, yeah. yeah, sure. <laughs> Uh, so there's. I'm not going to let that go, guys. I don't Until should. that gets big laughs, <laughs> I'm going to hold on to Eberflus. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, anyways, and I don't know what how you guys feel about this or not, but we said on last week's episode that we thought that Tom Brady was going to have like the the last season and the last hurrah and everybody the goodbye yeah. party. Apparently not. Uh, now is this uh, official? No, because he has not actually. I heard he has not told the Buccaneers yet. Okay. No, he has not. And he's also got a roster roster bonus on the 4th for $15 million if he's Ooh. on the roster on the 4th. So he's obviously not saying anything until at least after the 4th. Okay. But I he hasn't that Adam Schefter kind of jumped the gun on this one. Schefter uh jumped the gun on this one. Really? Yeah, I think so. So he may retire. It may still be correct, but I wouldn't come out a week before he's getting yeah. his roster bonus and say that that's happening. The Bucks, I don't even think I've heard from him. Well, that would that's, make sense. That's the last I heard. The yeah. Buc- he has not told the Bucks this. I have heard that he, at this moment, he wants to retire, but that he wants some time to think about it. He hasn't really discussed it much with his family. Why would he? Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> his family, isn't it just his wife? I thought he has kids. Does he have kids? I don't think so. I don't think he does. No, well, then who did he, he steal just, a kid? Yeah, I bet he stole a baby. Yeah, he's, he, you know. there's not a doubt in my mind. Tom Brady would steal somebody's baby. He, yeah. found, he found a baby before. Yeah, cancer patient. Yeah. Remember, yeah. coffee bean. Yeah, baby bean. Found huh? a coffee bean. Co- coffee really? Bean. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, goddamn. Uh, but he I steal it. <laughs> do you think now, now that the cat's out of the bag, that he actually does end up retiring? So he's got a cat. Yeah, cat. That's his baby. He's That's one of those assholes. Yeah. He's like, I don't know what it's like to have kids, but I have cats. <laughs> okay. Do you think he does go through with it, though? <clears throat> Probably. I mean, now. I might all, just, all the just reports, a, fuck you, I might be like, nah. Yeah. I'm going to have one more go at it. I think you should. I think you should stick around. Uh, but I don't know. We'll see. What I think is if he does retire, that's where Aaron Rodgers is going. You think so? There's no competition in that division. It's warm weather all the time. Dude, there's no competition in that division. Why wouldn't he go there? There are 22 free agents on the Buccaneers right now. Over, the, I mean, that, that's the deal. I mean, Godwin is gone. Godwin's gone. I think Evans is one of them. I too. don't think Evans is a free no? agent. No, uh, you may be right. Um, but all the reports I've heard point to Denver. Well, that's what Denver wants, and Denver <clears throat> is is going to try. But um, and they have the money. Yeah, but would you want to go up in that division and face Herbert and face Mahomes? No. Every you know you got to fight, you got to face good teams now. You you don't want to do that. Are you talking about Brady yeah. here, or are you talking, talking about, about Aaron Rodgers? Okay. About Rodgers. Okay, making sure yeah. I'm on I the don't same think page. he would want to go to that division. No, so I don't think he would want to go to Tampa Bay either. Though. I think he I think he ends up in Tampa. Honestly, I think the the more and more I see and hear it, I'm I'm thinking he may want to go to Pittsburgh. Uh, but Pittsburgh's gonna have to trade for him, and I don't think they yep. have the. I don't think they have the maybe. picks. Maybe you may you may be right. The other thing I was thinking of is what about Houston. That would be that was my other one. Yeah, Houston and Tampa are my two picks. Yeah, that's. I I think it's Pittsburgh or. But Houston Houston. sounds like a shit show of a fucking organization. Exactly. I don't think he's gonna like that. uh, That's right where you want to be. I think Deshaun Watson probably winds up in Tampa Bay because they have no problem getting criminals. Right. (laughs) (laughs) Or maybe the Raiders because they got rid of Derek Carr. Yeah, and then uh, he's got high IQ. They haven't gotten rid of Derek Carr yet. Yeah, they have. They did. Yeah. When did they released him today? What? Yes, I, I heard it this morning. Shut the what fuck What the up. fuck? Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I don't believe you, Jeremy. Uh, I don't buy oh, that. For fuck's sake. Uh, they traded before Breaking news, they you heard it right here. Yeah, no kidding. Derek Carr. Nothing. News. Eberfluff. <laughs> Bears will build <laughs> offense around fields. Uh, huh? Huh? No, I'm not seeing anything. I heard it on sports radio today. It's got to be true. Uh, he probably. There's nothing that I can there, see. He, Derek Carr did not get released. Derek Carr's future addressed by Josh McDaniels. So, see, yeah. let him go. <laughs> well, and the Patriots tried to trade for him last year, so or thought about trading for him. So, I'd, or I guess they said he he will not be a Raider next year, is what they said. Oh, well, that sucks. I like I like Derek. Carr. I like to think that he's going to get shot. Yeah. Uh, well, anyways, and then uh, they're going to make a rap song about mm-hmm. who shot him. Right. Who shot you? Uh, but moving on to the Who shot my car. 
Yeah. <laughs> to, Maybe you can shoot my car. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but moving on, we'll get to uh, first the NFC Championship game first. Um, what do you guys think? 49ers? blow it in the fourth quarter and lose to the Rams. Well, I called the winner, yep. but I don't remember the game. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't really remember. What happened, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, Jimmy G looked like shit. So he was playing up to par yep. like he normally does. Yep. I I I saw it coming. I knew that the, the Rams are the best. Of those two teams, I, I'm obviously going to say the Rams are definitely a better team, mm -hmm. but I was really rooting for the San Francisco 49ers. Niners just had their fucking number. They beat them twice this year. Yeah. but I didn't watch it. I, <laughs> Did you time travel? I, I just didn't watch it. <laughs> well, why is that? Why didn't you watch I, it? No real reason. <laughs> oh. Well, I, all I could say is, is congratulations to, um, well, to Matthew Stafford for once, you know. Uh, he's won more playoff games in one year as a Ram than Dak Prescott has his entire career. So now yeah, watch uh, like the rest of the Lions. Like, hey, will you trade us to L.A.? Yeah, no shit. I think at the beginning of the season, we all thought that's where they would wind up was in the Super Bowl. Right. I certainly did not predict the road that they took to get to the Super Bowl. Yep. No, uh, I, I agree. I agree. Said what week? What week five? Week yeah. six? Yeah, called the Rams. Yeah, and and actually, Stafford, and then they fell off. I mean, they did. Stafford started looking shitty. Stafford didn't look that that great at the end of the season, really. Uh, but he looked okay. And looked great against Tampa. Outside of that, yeah. Well, that was a lot of Acres fumbles, and I mm -hmm. think he fumbled one. Yep. But uh, but yeah, it was just the the interception at the very end of the game that Garoppolo threw. Uh, I think it went off of Ayuk's hands, and then it ended up getting picked off. And that was all she wrote. I, I think that may be. Um, well, we'll get to that in, in real shit or horseshit, I guess. Uh, but the game of the week that I wanted to get to. Uh, KU the, lost. That KU Jayhawks team got their ass kicked by Kentucky. But, uh, but no, the Kansas City Chiefs implode at Arrowhead. Hmm. Jeremy? Yeah. What do you think? I did watch this game. <laughs> did you? Yeah. What do you think, bud? <sighs> Sorry, my dick hit the table. <laughs> um, I'm just thinking about it. I got hard again. Uh, I'm sure you did. Th three times now since being the head coach of the Chiefs, Andy Reid has had seemingly insurmountable leads in the postseason that he has let slip away. One of them was the second biggest uh, second half lead ever to be blown in the playoffs. Against One Colts. of them was the huh? Was that against Colts? Yeah, yeah. The, the other two were, were against the Colts. One of them was the biggest second-half lead to ever be blown by the home team. And then this one. Setting records. It is. Okay, the first two are inexcusable. This one is unforgivable. <laughs> He's got to go. <laughs> oh, I'm, wow. I'm serious. Wow. He, I, and I know that this sounds like, <clears throat> okay, I'm being spoiled here. Because, yes, they've been to the AFC Championship game four years in a row. But the problem is, is that he squandered his talents in in Philadelphia when he was there. He should have won at least two Super Bowls there. Mm -hmm. He should have two, maybe even three already with Kansas City. And we both, see, you know, this window that teams get, it's a very rare combination when they get all of the pieces in line to where you could have a long-term run at being a continual okay. champion year after year, you know, where you can sustain that. We call that a dynasty. I don't. Oh. I'm, an, I'm talking. Okay. And, Derek, I know you've seen this, like, with the Cubs, when they have a good core of players that yep. could make them, and it's the mismanagement of them that, that fucks it over for everybody. Mm -hmm. He's very lucky to have the one championship that he got, and it was his determined players, not his coaching, that got them that. Yep. He fucks more up than he does good, in my opinion. He's a great talent scout. I think he would make a great general manager. But as far as a head coach, he is no fucking good. And and the way that he does this shit, okay, imagine if you went to a movie, a scary movie, and about halfway through that movie, there was some scene that was so shocking and surprised you so much that you shit your pants. <laughs> and you had to sit there the rest of the movie watching it with shit in your pants. And you've ruined it for yourself. You've ruined it for everybody around you. And you go home and you wash up and you reflect on what it was that made you shit your pants in the first place. Then you go to Dylan's. And then you go to Dylan's <laughs> after you've changed those pants. <laughs> maybe you've gotten yourself a nice snack. Maybe <laughs> maybe a cabin full of Maine lobster <laughs> or veins. 
But after a month, somebody comes and tells you, okay, you get to go watch that same movie again. You know exactly what happens. You've seen the movie. You know exactly when it happens. You know exactly the scene that they made you shit your pants. <laughs> All you have to do is not shit your pants. We'll even give you a week to prepare to not shit your pants. <laughs> now, imagine what you would do. You, most people would, like, eat a lot of cheese, maybe, <laughs> maybe shove a cork up there. Grab Scotty's gerbil. <laughs> you, would, you would visually think about how you would not shit your pants. <laughs> and instead, it's like with Andy Reid, he would wait until the day of the movie and then chug four bottles of laxative. <laughs> And erase his memory as far as how this movie's going to go and just shit his pants again. And that's exactly, that's what makes this one so unforgivable. You knew exactly who you were playing. You knew exactly what they would do. You knew exactly that they would not give up. And you fucked it all away. <laughs> you worthless piece of shit. <laughs> it amazes me that people still hold this guy in high regard. Yeah. And I get it. He's a nice guy. The players like him. They don't need a nice guy. They need a fucking competent coach. <laughs> They need a leader on that team. Yes, Mahomes shit the bad. Yeah, he really did. He, he did. choked. Mm -hmm. But a lot of that is because Andy Reid did not have him fully mentally prepared. You did not have your team mentally prepared to play sixty full minutes of football. I think that's what, on him. I think what he needs to do is he needs to just keep his foot on the gas like Henry Ruggs. And Absolutely. Just, you know what I mean? just fucking you get it up to, to one hundred and sixty, and you keep it there. That's right. right. Absolutely. And but you uh, fucking crash right into that SUV of the Bengals. That's right. That, um, that play at the end of the first half when they let, uh, what's his name, Tyreek Hill? No, that fucking running back out of Oklahoma, Mixon, oh, P Ryan, P Ryan, Samaj uh, P Ryan. Um, when they they had been playing very focused <clears throat> and disciplined defense, swarming to the ball, really shutting things down. And then when that play happened, and it was kind of some lazy defense because it seemed like they could have corralled him a couple of different times on that, and they just it was like, well, I'm not going to tackle him; he's got him. And it was like, oh shit, they've they've lost their focus. They need to take the ball down and do something with it. And when they had that last second march, that that two minute drill there at the end, yep. and did nothing with it, I went into halftime going. Fuck, they're going to do it again. <laughs> they are going to do it again. Yep. And I, I could see it coming. And when they came out and, you know, Mahomes put it right on Kelsey's hands and he drops the fucking ball, it's like they have lost their focus. Mm -hmm. They had the chance to go into the into halftime with momentum, and they didn't. And had they kicked that fucking field goal, they'd have won the game. Yep. For sure. Motherfuckers. And they didn't. Um, but, uh, yeah, hey, uh, Derek, how did you uh, feel about this game? Oh, I was so fucking happy. I was happy, too. Oh, my God, I was so happy. I don't have to watch fucking Jackson Mahomes or oh. Brittany Matthews for a whole fucking year. I reiterate, you never had to. <laughs> <laughs> you would have had to seek them out. Uh, I don't I, have to hear about them. I don't have to. Oh, now I am seeking them out. I'm wanting to have their reaction because I'm surprised they're not in the news yet. Yeah. I'm you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I'm sure they probably tweeted about how it was bullshit. Probably. How they got screwed over. As mm -hmm. of this morning, she hasn't. I, I, I've been told that I, she hasn't said anything. I, but I bet I don't you know. her agent smacked her across the face and said, <laughs> "Don't! I'm going to cut your fucking fingers off if you tweet a goddamn thing. <laughs> I wonder this offseason. Because like, the first year when they won the Super Bowl, I was like, I was kind of pulling for him. I'm yeah, like, you me know, too. it's been a while. Let him get one. Mm -hmm. And then the next year when they win, I was like, eh, I really don't like this that guy's fucking family. But, you know, if they win, I'm not going to be upset. And then this year, yeah. <laughs> I was like, nope. all right, they're getting worse. <laughs> and so I was like, fuck them. Yeah. And I just, and to me, I feel like Chief fans have now become the Patriot fans that they Ooh, grew to and hate. And this, I, that, this bugs me too. I, I lived through the 90s where the fucking Cowboy fans would not shut the fuck up. That's what this is. And they've been irrelevant ever since. And I know how bad that can backfire. I've seen it. They look fucking stupid now. Mm -hmm. And I that's going to happen, by the way. this Mahomes will not be there forever. He will not be great forever. The team will not be great forever. Shut the fuck up because this can backfire. You're, just, you're one injury away from Mahomes not being there anymore. Yep. And... Everything that you've been fucking bragging about is gone. Yeah. So shut up. Yep. Yeah, that's that's the other reason that I I, can, I just can't bring myself to root for the Chiefs. One guy had posted a meme, and it was a guy coming out of, like, a, this is a sewer. 
And it was like, ah, oh, looks like it's time for the Chief haters to finally come out. And I was like, that looks a lot like the same hole Chief fans came out of <laughs> yeah, about four years ago. <laughs> Because I remember working at a bar, and those people wouldn't show up unless the Chiefs were winning, and it was at halftime. Right. Like, there was a Steelers bar that I worked at, which I don't like the Steelers either. But they'd have the Steelers on the big screen TV, and then, the like, three Chief fans would come in, or four Chief fans, at halftime when they're up, like, 18, and be like, hey, we turned the Chiefs on the big screen? What's up? <laughs> Dude, who leaves anywhere at halftime? Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I 100 percent agree with you on this one. Be honest with you, I, I you guys joke joke for years about calling me Super Chiefs. I think I'm a huge Chiefs fan. Well, you are. No, that wasn't a joke. That was definitely a joke. Uh, I exactly like Derek. I was rooting for him the first year that they had the the opportunity to win. I was uh, glad that they won. I was even rooting for him the next year you against the Patriots. It had been 50 years. Yeah. So I was rooting for him even against Brady, but not this year. Yeah. No. No. I I she okay. Jackson Mahomes and Brittany have legitimately pissed me off to the point where I, I cannot root for Patrick Mahomes. They're the Jake Paul of football. They're worse. <laughs> I think they're fucking worse. So i just not going to ever root for Kansas City just so I don't have to see those people acting like assholes. Yeah, I would rather just... I'd rather them be miserable. Yes. If the Chiefs winning, bring them joy. Mm-hmm. Then may the Chiefs lose every game. <laughs> yes. Me and Derek are legitimately that petty. We want them to love hate Jeremy life. Joseph. Huge love, Jeremy Joseph. Yeah, love mm-hmm. Jeremy. Jeremy. Well, being if you a, notice, yeah. I don't do that. It's yeah. one thing to root for your team, cheer for your team. Yeah. You don't have to rub it in everybody else's face. No, you don't do that. You at shouldn't all. do that. But my God, do so many of them. Mm-hmm. I am. I am even critical of them when they win. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, and I fucking hate Andy <laughs> Reid. <laughs> I mean, honestly, what? What other job could you... You couldn't be a pilot and been like, well, I only crashed three times. <laughs> I've I've landed 500 planes safe. I've only crashed and killed everybody three times. <laughs> you wouldn't uh, keep your job. Poor guy. Why, oh, why did you survive, fat <laughs> fuck? He's one of the few people I get to call that. <laughs> uh, well, now we get to go to predictions. So, who wins the Super Bowl? Uh, the Rams. I've I've called it all year. The one thing I will say though, and I've told you this all year. Yeah, don't sleep on the Bengals. I agree. They I are told a you that resilient bunch of assholes. Yeah, I told you that all year. Don't sleep on the Bengals, and I was right. I, I agree with you. Um, but I just think that, man, Jalen Ramsey, if he's on Jamar Chase, I think that might take Jamar Chase out of the game. I don't know. It'd be. I mean, it's, he's not going to burn Ramsey for two hundred some odd yards. No. The Chiefs pretty well took Chase out of the game. But yeah, they, they doubled him. Right. But T. Higgins is is good. T. Higgins is just as good. And if they have Uzoma back, but I just don't think Burrow's going to get the time. I know they were saying that the Chiefs' defense is is just is really good again. I don't see that. I like I told you. I see Even them when playing. they got to him, they couldn't tackle him. Yeah. yeah, I see them. I see that as a circumstance of playing a lot of bad teams down the stretch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think that's what made the Chiefs' defense look good. But can I even listen to the announcers last night? And they were talking about the Chiefs' defense. And they're like, well, you know, of course. That's they were showing the stats, and they were like, "Well, the only reason that the stats are kind of skewed that way is because the that game with Buffalo last week, where they put up forty or whatever, and then yeah. well, in the game with Cincinnati in Week Seventeen, where they put up thirty three, and yeah, they're playing Pittsburgh good teams and, now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Pittsburgh's a bad team. Yeah, so I think that's overinflated. I but so when it comes down to it, I think. This is a legit defense, and I just don't see. I, I'm rooting for the Bengals. That's my but nice I don't question. see. I don't see Burrow. Ah, I think he's going to get killed. I uh, I second that. I think I honestly think that the Rams will win, but I'm pulling for the Bengals. I really. I, and you know what? This is one of those Super Bowls to where I really don't care. I like the stories from both teams. I like Matthew Stafford's story, um, and I like Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase. So I, I I'm happy for both. I'm I'm tired of the city of Cincinnati getting all the lucky breaks. It's time L.A. <laughs> got mean, something good going for them. You mean Sin City? Yeah, yeah Sin, Sin City. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Gotta love it. Uh, how pissed is A.J. Green? Oh, he mattered hell. <laughs> oh, my Get God. Fucked, bro. Holy shit. I you spent your funny. whole career there. Finally, you get out, you get <laughs> traded, or you're a free agent or whatever the fuck happened, and now they make the Super Bowl the first year you're gone. I think it's fucking great. I think it's great. 
it's it's funny. It's comical to me. But how about you, Jeremy? Who do you got? Oh, I think the Rams probably win it, but it could go either way. Yeah. The Rams didn't play particularly well this last week. No. This last game. No, they, they haven't didn't. been against the Niners, though. The Niners just haven't figured out, I yeah. feel like. Well, apparently not, because they didn't end up beating him. And, and that I just was think all because Garoppolo apparently. Yeah, I don't Garoppolo, know. Garoppolo is bad. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's our predictions. Now we get to move on to real shit or horse shit. This will be the last. Uh, well, no, well, I guess we have a couple weeks of uh, this. Oh, well, no, what? I have a quick question for you. It's not football related. Oh, okay. basketball related. Okay, go ahead. You're a big WSU fan. Yeah. What do you think of their coach? Um. Isaac Brown. Right? Isaac Brown is a head coach. Uh, he did fairly well last year, and mm-hmm. um, I like him I, as a player's coach, uh, but as a head coach, I'm not all that impressed. What I, would we we are way too talented to be as shitty as we have been over the last several weeks. What would you think? This is this is what I think Wichita State should do. I was talking about this today with a guy at work. Okay. I don't think you let I don't think you let Brown Phillip fulfill his whole contract. I think it's put up or shut up next year. If you're bid this bad next year, mm-hmm. eh, it might be time to go. Yeah, I know he's on a five year deal. This is year one. Yeah, you maybe give him year three, get him get more of his guys in a little bit for more of an upperclassman. Yeah, what about you do that and then you have Ron Baker become the new head coach of Wichita State basketball? Without a shadow of a doubt, I would love that. I think Ron Baker that's, would make a fantastic coach. That's, it's such, that is a big ask though to some somebody to go to their alma mater as their first head coaching job. Yeah, most co- most players won't do that. They want to go somewhere else and cut their uh-huh. teeth as a head coach, I, and then I've got an answer for you. I too. think that's a smaller school. With it being a smaller school, I think you could do that. Uh, maybe maybe you could, but you know who I think, and and he's already got coaching under his belt. I think you go after Matt Brower. I don't that, know who that is. He was he was huge back in the uh, early two thousands. He hit the game winner against Creighton. Little short guy, and he's been coaching um, all over the country. Uh, and as a Wichita State fan, if you brought that man into a, a head coaching job at his alma mater, oh yeah, everybody would love that that move. Hmm. So that's yeah, why I, I heard they're not selling out or anything. I heard it's like half empty now. Oh, yeah. yeah. I haven't been to a game because we do the show. Yeah, and so. I know it's a smaller school, but the city has grown to have big expectations of that team. Yep, they sure I, have. I've also heard that like ticket prices have doubled in the last <clears throat> like three or four years. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Can they sell out with COVID? Are uh, they, have yeah. they gotten rid of their COVID protocols? I think they did, have yeah. They? I think so. Uh, but anyways, moving on. Let's get on to real shit or horse shit. Here we go, first one. Real shit or horse shit, Jimmy Garoppolo will not be the 49ers starting quarterback next year. That is real shit. It will be Trey Lance. 100%. That Unless is real shit. they trade for somebody, but I feel like it's going to be Trey Lance. I don't think Jimmy Garoppolo will be on the 49ers next year. That, that, yeah. is, that is real shit. You can't spend the third overall pick on a quarterback and not use him. <clears throat> you have to you're you've hitched your wagon to him win lose or draw they trade up for that pick i believe i think so and i yeah. don't get that at all because he was in no danger of being picked right um uh, but the fact is they took him they showed faith in him and they got to follow through with it and taking him to the nfc championship game i d- jimmy garoppolo's trade stock will not get higher than what it is right now mm-hmm. uh let's see uh Ooh, let's go with this one. Uh, real shit or horse shit, Joe Burrow winning the Super Bowl this year would be a better story than Matthew Stafford winning the Super Bowl this year. Yeah, I'll say real shit, just for the fact that he would be the youngest quarterback, I believe, to win the Super Bowl, starting quarterback. Uh, and also coming from from where the Bengals were last year, they were they won like four games or something, five games. I don't think he's the youngest. He would be the youngest. I think Patrick, I think that's what they just said. Patrick Mahomes, I think, would still be the youngest because Joe Burrow, if I remember correctly, is older. Well, remember Mahomes sat on the bench a year. That's true. Yeah, oh, yeah that's I a think, good point. I think it'd be. I think this Burrow would be his be second year. He started as a rookie, and then, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, however, uh, I'm going to go with horseshit. Okay. Uh, Matthew Stafford, having suffered for so long, twelve in, years, twelve in seasons, Detroit. Joe Burrow has never known anything but winning. Mm-hmm. All through college and now in in the NFL, yes, they're underdogs. He'll have plenty of opportunities well, in the future. To, they thought that about Marino, and he never got back. Yeah, thought that about Mahomes, and he's been back once. Once, yeah, but this is Joe Burrow. Yeah, 
Burrow. A whole different guy. Burrow. Yeah, a whole different no, dude. it's Burrows. There's more than one. <laughs> <laughs> they kinda get like, all of the Joe Burrows. Kind of like that gerbil Burrows and Scotty's asshole. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, a lot of people don't realize he's the sixth New York Burrow. <laughs> right. Uh, he's right next to Brooklyn. Gotcha. <laughs> I, I am going to love every bit of the Super Bowl. I don't, really don't care, but I, I do think this is real shit. I think Joe Burrow winning a Super Bowl, he was – it's a great story. He was a three-star recruit um, when he was first coming out of high school. He was trying to send tweets out to people to try to get attention so people will come and start watching him so he can go to a college and start uh, as a quarterback. He's he, from Ohio. He's from Ohio. Uh, I believe he played at o- Ohio State. He was the backup quarterback for two seasons, and that's when he ended up transferring. Um, and so, and then he beats was it Alabama in the national championship mm-hmm. game, uh-huh. uh, which makes me love him even more. And then on top of that, you go in last season as the you know number one overall pick and end up getting season-ending injury when you were just starting to get hot, then come back off of it, and then take your team the entire season and win your division as your second year, then you play in the playoffs and you are an underdog team every single game on the road, on the road. And you go take your team to a super bowl and your team hasn't won a playoff game since the nineties, 91. First game they were at home. I think. Okay. But But still beat the number one and number two seeds on the road. Yeah. 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 Get fucked. I think that's a much better story, but I, I wouldn't mind Stafford. I like Stafford as a player. Same thing. What Jeremy said, 12 seasons being a, a, a lion and, uh, he deserves it just as much too. So I'm, but I'm going. Uh, Burrow is a much better story. Uh, the next uh, real shit or horseshit runs right into it. Real shit or horseshit. Joe Burrow is the next Tom Brady. Horseshit. Okay. The, I don't think there will ever be a Tom Brady again. I agree. I don't think so. We went. We went the entire history of NFL without a Tom Brady. Mm-hmm. I don't. Uh, or the the entire league. I don't see there being another Tom Brady. That's like saying there's going to be another Michael Jordan. I don't think there'll ever be another Michael Jordan. Mm-hmm. Tom Brady is not Tom Brady without Bill Belichick. He I'm, does not win all those Super Bowls with any other team that is not coached by Bill Belichick. I, I kind of agree with you, too. That's kind of a perfect storm that came together, and we're going to have a hard time finding that again. He just didn't have fun, <clears> though. <throat> he didn't have fun being there. So He uh, looks like he's just loving life now. Exactly. Man. Yeah, man. He's, he's, on, he's on fucking commercials. Yeah. and Yeah. So and he's he's a fucking vegan and he's doing commercials for Subway. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, veggie subs. Yeah, sure. Um, but anyways, I I really think that Tom Brady is the goat, and I don't think anybody will do what he did. So while Joe Burrow will be Joe Burrow, there is not going to be another Tom Brady at least for a really really long time. And I believe he's just a vegetarian. Scott. Yeah, oh, he's he a does vegetarian. Live the full vegan lifestyle. I don't Come know. on, he's got his own cookbook and shit. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But I don't know. Does it make him vegan? Okay. You, should, you had to be vegan to write a cookbook, too. Sure is that did. true? Yeah. yeah. That's Even a, if it's got meat in it. Oh, yeah. You ha- you, yeah. You, they actually passed the law in 1982. You cannot write a cookbook unless you are vegan. Right? Uh-huh. No animal products can be used, including in the making of that cookbook. Absolutely. All right. Uh, next one, going right into it with Tom Brady. So if Tom Brady retires with all of the free agents leaving as well, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will see long years of recovery and rebuilding. They will not have good seasons. If he retires, and well, depends on who they end up with at quarterback. I who if they end up with one of the free agents, if they end up with Russell Wilson or something like that, or mm-hmm. Dickhead. Yeah, Dickhead. Get dickhead. Yep. And I mean, that's just his name on this show. It's dickhead. just Dickhead. Yeah. yeah. Um. I think uh, I think this is real shit. I think uh, unfortunately, I think Tom Brady will retire, and I also think that. They it's gonna be dark in Tampa Bay for a while. How about you, Jeremy? Yep. Yep. Good. I don't know. To I the mean point. they they've they continually seem to show up. I mean they go for droughts, but I don't know how long is a long time. Ten years five years. Five years? Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. That's real shit. Okay, real shit. All right, so that's real, real shit or horse shit. Now we get to move on to the fun part of the episodes. Unless you guys had any other sports that you wanted to talk about. You had another one on there. Did I? Yeah. Oh, did I? Oh, Deep. that's right. That's right. I did. I forgot. I missed one. Mm-hmm. Uh, last real shit or horse shit is the Bears GM. Sorry, real shit or horse shit. The Bears GM, Ryan Poles, said, quote, we're going to take the North and never give it back. Horse shit. <laughs> 
I did this as, just for Derek. As long as the McCaskies own that team, they will never win a Super Bowl. Oh, and they and they're they're gonna they're dead, aren't they? Or they're getting pretty close to dying. She's ninety seven. Okay. Uh, and then her son is seventy something. Okay. And God, they couldn't get in a plane crash faster. <laughs> he actually tried out to be punter last year and <laughs> almost got it. He's not a football guy, but he's gonna pick the head coach. Sure. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, that's just big talk when you get in there. I, I was optimistic when they hired Poles, and then now I'm not. I'm yeah. back to back to where they're, I know what's going to happen because you got Eberfluff, Eberfluff, Eberfluff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is uh, this is horseshit. Bears are still going to be bad. Jeremy, yes, yeah, horseshit. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Uh, all right. Well, uh, a- any hobby horse news, Jeremy? No. Okay. <laughs> Fine. I had uh, to think about it. I mean, <laughs> typically I do, but not this week. No. Darn. Okay, They're well, kind of in a holding pattern right now. It's <laughs> kind of the off season for hobby horse. Yeah, and I don't know. I don't know if I said something about this. Obviously, we've got the uh, Winter Olympics coming up. Are you guys excited about that? Oh no. my god! <laughs> if anything, now my dick hit the fucking table. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have me some luge. <laughs> oh, the, the Jamaican bobsled team made it back. They, they, they're going to be uh, competing this year. Great. Yeah, come on. Now start rooting for other countries again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, fine, whatever. But now we get to move on to the fun parts. What of do you the, mean you don't like Ukrainian <laughs> skiing? Talk about Ray Gay. Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, That's callback, fellas. That is. Uh, but now we get to move on to uh, an ever-growing and popular uh, segment that we've started doing. Um, this is uh, Bad Advice with Jeremy, where we get to actually have some of uh, you listeners send in to our Instagram, which is at laughing on the sidelines. Go and follow us there. Send us a message of uh, certain situations that you are in, and uh, Jeremy will give you the worst possible advice he can think of. I want to reiterate that. Just for my own conscience here, mm-hmm. I am well aware that this is awful bad advice. <laughs> Okay, uh, it's not. I don't want you to actually do this. Well, actually, I kind of do, do, but don't. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, why not? Uh, which one are we going with this? Uh, week? You know what? I don't know why not, Scotty. <laughs> yeah, seven. I think. Is what was it, did you say seven, Jeremy? Yeah. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Is that right? Uh, what's the guy's name? Old Rickety. Yep, that's, that's the one. Him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, this this week uh, is bad advice is from a listener named at Ol Rickety. Uh, he writes, "Jeremy, I need some advice. There is a really cute girl I work with. We laugh and get along great. So I want to ask her out, but I am not very good at these kinds of things. How would you ask a girl out? And what are some great first date ideas?" Oh, Rickety. <laughs> oh, Rickety. First off, uh, there's good things and there's bad things here. Uh, Good news is I want to commend you on the wisdom that you're showing. Dating a coworker, nothing can go wrong here, okay? Great decision, buddy. Uh, Also great decision, asking me for advice. Here's the bad news is that you got some work to do here, bud, because it sounds like you've known this girl for a while, and actually with women, there's... There's a very short time from the time that you meet them to when you can ask them out. Otherwise, they start to think that uh, you're not interested. No doubt this girl thinks you're not interested. And by that, I mean in women. (laughs) There's no doubt in my mind that she thinks you're gay. I mean, Christ, I just read your letter and I'm kind of 50-50 on it. I've never even met you. You type with a list. That's, That's all I'm saying. So... Luckily, you're not uh, you're not dead in the water. There's something you can do here, and it's it's kind of a process, but uh, just follow this advice, and and it's going to work out for you. First, you have to reestablish that you are straight. Okay, you got to reestablish the hetero here. Uh, do some things that let her know that you're into women. Like uh, start off simple. Like get one of those novelty coffee mugs that looks like boobs. <laughs> Bring that into work. <laughs> Then you kind of step up your game after a few days in the break room. You're reading a Hustler magazine. (laughs) A couple days later, you're eating lunch. You got your sandwich. You make eye contact with her. You peel that bread apart. Just bury your face in it. (laughs) Eat that thing from the inside out. Then, at the same time that this is going on, you want to make sure that she stays available. Because if she's half as good as what you say she is, there's going to be some foxes in that hen house, if you know what I mean. (laughs) If you don't know what I mean, I mean other guys are going to fuck her. <laughs> a lot of guys. <laughs> going to fuck her a lot of times. Some of them maybe at the same time. 
<laughs> they're gonna fuck her and they're gonna fuck her good, better than you probably can, which could be fun to watch, but that's not gonna help when you go to ask her out. So the best you want to make sure that she stays available, and the best way you can do that is by starting nasty rumors about her. <laughs> uh, make a fake profile on some social media account and and let people know. Maybe she shits her pants at movies. <laughs> Maybe uh, she's she's got that uh, that fucking case with the earlobes, uh, Eberfuss. <laughs> Tell them that she's got some some new strain of STD that'll make their dick fall off as soon as they stick it in, and, and it can also be spread maybe with a firm handshake. <laughs> Eventually, this is going to get back to her, though, so make sure you tell people that the number one symptom is vehement denial. <laughs> that way, the more she says she doesn't have it, the more convinced people will be that she does. Now... Once you've reestablished that you are straight, you've convinced her and probably yourself that you are straight and you have ruined her life, now you've got to work on yourself. you got to change your personality. You've got to make yourself out to look like a lunatic. <laughs> Everybody who talks to you, you just fucking snap. You go off on them. You yell at them, scream at them, push them down, backhand them, challenge them to a duel, bring in pistols. <laughs> Make sure she sees you do it, though. And now you can confidently ask her out because she's going to be way too scared to say no. <laughs> and nobody's going to help her out because they all think she's just some diseased scuzzbag. <laughs> now, you've asked her out. Where do you take her? This is going to get a little tricky because at this point, there's really only one place that you can take her. And I don't know what's going on in your area, but you got to take her to a carnival. <laughs> this serves two purposes. One... You've kind of made yourself out to be a little creepy. And uh, creepy is kind of a relative term. <laughs> yes, next to your coworkers, you're very creepy. But next to that rat faced freak who runs the Tilt a World, <laughs> you're still relatively normal. The other thing is that you don't know everything there is to know about this girl. There's still a lot of information, very important information. And luckily for you, there are people at most carnivals who can guess people's weight. <laughs> Uh, you never know if she's like some secret chubbo that's been wearing Spanx all the time. If that's the case, you don't want to spend any more time and money on her than you have to. Tell her you're going to the bathroom and then ditch her. <laughs> but if she turns out to, you know, weigh at a correct amount, uh, then you should be golden. And you're going to want to, like, try and casually work it into the conversation that you've heard the rumors. Don't let her know it was you that started it. But you've heard the rumors about her. Say something casual like, Hey, I heard you have an awful sexual transmitted disease. <laughs> and that way, later on, when you get her alone in your parents' basement, you come off as sounding caring and compassionate when you tell her you're not going to use a condom. <laughs> Follow that advice, and I guarantee you it's going to work. And if it doesn't work, I'll make you this promise that I won't give a shit because you'll be in jail at that point. <laughs> That's my advice. Oh, oh okay. Well, All right. Old Rickety, thank yeah. you very much uh, for your submission. Hope it all works out. And for you're you. welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, but again, uh, if you have any uh, b situations, bad advice, you'd like to send it to us, send us to us at our Instagram, which is at Laughing on the Sidelines, or you can comment it in uh, in the original Bad Advice with Jeremy on TikTok, which is at Laughing on the Sidelines. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. Same thing. Suggestions. Figure it out. It's really easy. Send it to us. Uh, but first one is overrated or underrated talking birds. Underrated. Really? Absolutely. Oh, my. Yeah. Okay. My, my parents had one for a long time. Really? Yeah. And it was fucking cool as shit because my buddy Brian is terrified of fucking birds. <laughs> And so we were the only ones over at their house in Kansas City, and then you just start hearing this thing laugh in the basement. <laughs> and he's like, what the fuck is that? I thought we were the only ones here. I'm like, we are the only ones here. The fuck was that? Oh, that was Louie. The fuck's Louie? The bird. You want? No, I don't want to go. <laughs> the fucking bird? Like, he's terrified of birds. He's a pussy. That's funny. But uh, you can teach him bad words, man. You can. Yeah, you yeah. can. <laughs> and I mean, you know, we had that racist parrot that old McDonald had on his farm. Yeah. It, you probably don't want that bird. Oh, no. Uh, there's a guy that had the bird that would scream obscenities at his ex-wife uh -huh. that he lived next door to. He'd yep. open the windows and just let it go. Mm -hmm. That's fucking awesome. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with you on this one because uh, 
talking birds and the cussing thing. This is way underrated. Why? Is because there is a parrot out there that uh, just says what the fuck. If I can find that it. That looks like Odell Beckham. If I can. <laughs> I was just looking for this. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> That's fucking underrated as hell. So yeah, underrated. Jeremy? Um underrated as long as it's somebody else's. <laughs> you don't want it? No. <laughs> Birds are a fucking pain in the ass, especially parrots. Oh, yeah. They live forever. They require a tremendous amount of attention. Mm-hmm. Make sure it's somebody else's. Yep. But teach them to talk though. No, they can teach it to talk. I'll just teach it new shit. To say. <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated child protective services? Overrated. <laughs> Over fucking rated. Really? Absolutely. Well, tough it out, pussy. No shit. <laughs> What's the matter? You're not getting fed? <laughs> Fuck yeah, you, man. pussy. Maybe if you would have went and got mom that ashtray, she would have put that cigarette out on your arm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, of course this is overrated. I think I think it's uh, terrible what they do. I can't believe they won't just let a parent parent like they should. You know, whatever happened to smoking crack with your toddler? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like like we used to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you should be able to lock them in a basement and not have to deal with their shit. Like a parrot. <laughs> and put them in a cage. Teach them cuss words. <laughs> yeah. So uh, overrated all the way across? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, next one. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, Cards Against Humanity. <laughs> That's where that came from. Okay. Uh, anyways, next one. Overrated or underrated? Spanking the monkey. Fuck monkeys. I don't have a monkey. <laughs> monkeys are fucking creepy. Really? I yes. Want, I want one. You want one? Mm-hmm. The monkeys? monkeys are how we got AIDS. Yeah, it is. I know. Yeah. What Thank you, you, monkeys. Yeah, we're obviously talking about jerking off. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh underrated. Yeah. <laughs> <Big time. laughs> the only way I get laid. Yeah. <laughs> right? Post-nut clarity. Nothing like it. PNC. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is underrated. What the I'd fuck? I do some of my best thinking right after I jacked off. <laughs> or during. Yeah. 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 Uh, I come up with new and creative ways to jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> I can do this better next time. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that's underrated. 100%. Well, Anybody? That's how you came up with that idea with a manscape. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Next time I'm going to get my lawnmower. Yeah. What about, uh, okay, I got an idea. What about uh, one of those flashlights? What about them? What do you think? That's not jerking off. Okay. Yeah. That's making love. <laughs> <laughs> I can't afford one of those. I'm still just using a flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> spring Keeping the batteries in it <laughs> that's why i had to get a manscaped my pubes got caught in the spring i like the jolt <laughs> <laughs> oh jesus all right next one huh. overrated or underrated the wwe royal rumble hmm the super bowl for white trash <laughs> I'm gonna go underrated. Okay, it's fun. Yeah, I actually had it on last or was it Saturday overrated night? Overrated or underrated? It's yeah. un- I'm going underrated. Oh, I think you said overrated. No, I said the Super Bowl for white trash, but it's still underrated. <laughs> okay, uh, I had it on the other night or the other night downstairs uh-huh. in my basement. wasn't really paying any attention to it. Yeah, Johnny Knoxville was in it. I saw that. Yeah, why and wouldn't they just, he be? I just like it when they when the old people come out. Oh yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah, like, that's why I watch it. I'm like, oh, what geriatric fuck's gonna come out now? <laughs> Holy shit! They dug up Macho Man. Like this. <laughs> Weekend at Bernie's his ass all <laughs> the of the ring. <laughs> yeah, this is this is uh, underrated. Um, I I did find out that they uh, they who won was it Brock Lesnar? Yeah, and yeah. Ronda Rousey won the women's. Yeah, I'm not I'm not surprised with either of them. I thought she quit. She did. It was her first day back. Yeah, mm, of course. They're like, here, win the rumble. Yeah, so that, 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 I'm sure that doesn't annoy the fuck out of all the other female wrestlers. That's right. what I think. So goddamn hard. Yeah, she talks so much shit on the WWE too, and then uh-huh. then comes back and gets you know the title match whatever. Mm. So She's we got like, two MMA people, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Brock was a wrestler before he was an MMA guy, but whatever. Like a real wrestler, but yeah, you know, and a WWF yeah. guy. Yeah, but I think uh, like some of the best, most memorable matches of all time were was one was the Royal Rumble, the one where Stone Cold came in and won. I thought it was one of the best matches ever. 
but that's just me. How about you, uh, Jeremy? It's overrated. Really? It really is. It is most of the time. It's just several guys hanging out in the ring. <laughs> yeah, because they have to match. just kill time. They're not wrestling. They're not. They're kind of maybe sometimes punching each other, but most of the time they're just acting exhausted mm -hmm. and waiting for something that's supposed to happen. They got fucking a minute and a half to go, and they're just worn out and they they're out of fucking ideas they can't do any of their cool moves without running into the other people in the ring and so they're just fucking hanging out and it's stupid yeah one of the uh funny stories that mick foley was talking about was uh he said that he used to idolize i guess terry funk was a uh -huh. wrestler yeah and he used to idolize him and he said man there was just nobody that could throw a punch it just looks so real watching Terry, and he's like, and I and I he goes, I watched it on VCR. He goes, I would mm -hmm. slow mo it frame by frame to try and figure out how he does this because the typical way you throw a punch in wrestling is as you, right as you're getting ready to land it, you stomp your foot, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah, right. It makes a big thud. And it sound feels like you landed it or looks like you landed it. Yeah. So he's like, finally, I was in Japan and I got to wrestle Terry Funk, and like I'm finally gonna figure out how this happened after all these years. I'm finally gonna learn the art of the Terry Funk punch. And we came into the ring, and then he punched me, and he fucking actually punched me. <laughs> and he's like, this whole time, he's just really just been punching people? He's yeah. like, I could have done that. <laughs> Great. Yeah, there's something they do with their hand where they kind of keep it open, and then they close it as they're making contact to absorb most of the blow. Yeah, Because mm -hmm. they actually do make contact, mm -hmm. but not like an actual punch. Because most of the time, you just break your fucking hands. Right. Uh, all right. Last one, overrated or underrated? Oh, overrated or underrated? Radio? Radio. Radio. Radio star. Uh, sorry, overrated or underrated TikTok dog videos? Overrated. What? Yeah. Oh, you, you're you going to hell. No, overrated. Give me a nut shot all day. I'd rather watch people get hurt. Or the pranks. <laughs> I like the pranks. Those are funny. Oh, uh, no, underrated. I, I can watch TikTok dog videos, cute dogs and pit bulls and stuff like that all day and, and, and just hours upon hours they're so cute mm. jeremy it's very underrated uh this is the only way i actually get up the energy to spank the monkey <laughs> <laughs> well great all right guys well that is overrated or underrated for this week uh, again if you do have any suggestions send that to laughing at this or la at laughing on the sidelines on instagram or tiktok now we get to move on to questions or preguntas same instructions uh, but we're going to start off with uh, the first question. Uh, first one. It's a pity kids these days are getting into blank. Fortnite dances. Fuck. God got, damn it. Yeah. That's so stupid. And you move your arms in front of you, and then they're behind you, and then they're in front of you, and then they're behind you. Mm -hmm. Fucking jump off a bridge. <laughs> Gee, go smoke crack with your dad. Yeah. Jesus Christ, Derek. Jealous much? Yeah. No. I yeah. hate that thing. Anytime I see some kid do the fucking floss, mm -hmm. I want to vomit. Yep. I literally want to just pull my eyes out of my head and stomp on them. Mm -hmm. It's awful. Yep. Learn something else. Yep. Fucking uh. tard. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, it's a pity, pity these days kids are getting into midget porn. I think that's uh, something that just needs to go away. Really? Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with midget porn? I don't I know. I got to hear this. <laughs> Explain yourself, <laughs> cocksucker. I don't know. Nah. I, I just figure that, that it's kind of growing. It's growing now. Midgets don't grow. <laughs> <laughs> no, that uh, that category on Pornhub. It's just getting bigger and bigger. More well, and more videos. Uh, you can't say bigger and bigger and midget in the same sentence. <laughs> uh, maybe you can. Hey, how come pedophiles don't fuck midgets? I feel like they're, that's a perfect marriage. Yeah, I agree. It's legal. Right. And they're small, just like children. Right. I, I think that you should be able... That's what they should do. Yeah. I, <laughs> I hate to make it real. <laughs> There is a, a medical condition <laughs> that I, I can't remember what it's called, but it's basically people don't age. They look like children forever. I just saw and this it on is TikTok. A big fucking thing with pedophiles. It oh. keeps them because they're over 18, so mm -hmm. they're legal, but they look like children, which is what draws pedophiles to oh them. My, it's that, fucking creepy as hell. That's crazy. Uh, but no, I had a couple other ones. I had. What do you mean you're 28? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. You drove here? Mm -hmm. uh, the other one I had was anime. I can't. I don't understand anime. So, how about you, Jeremy? Uh, old refrigerators. <laughs> what? <laughs> when they're playing hide out. and seek or whatever. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. Uh, next question. 
Uh, blank, the worst action movie of all time. Mission Possible. <laughs> 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 it's like oh, all right i'll be right back your mission should you choose to accept it go to 7-eleven and buy cheetos <laughs> and pay with a card oh, yes. oh man oh. pay with a card or exact change <laughs> and remember your pin number <laughs> okay I, I i didn't really know for this one uh i just put down auschwitz like i would Okay. Yeah. How you, about could, you? you could also go with Die Soft. Die Soft. That's yeah. good. Yeah. And uh, Injure Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Insult Bill. <laughs> oh, shit. How about you, Jeremy? Well, I didn't make mine a parody of, a, of an existing <laughs> movie. I just went with Hammock Nap. <laughs> just you're watching it, and it's some guy sleeping in a hammock. <laughs> And then suddenly he wakes up and you shit your pants. <laughs> Twice. Twice. Every time you watch it. The action is him trying to get out of the hammock. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next question. Uh, bad things to see written in the sky. Your social security number. Oh, yeah. That'd be bad. That would be the worst thing to see written in the sky. Oh, man. I don't know. Just like a, like a message from God saying, you're adopted. I think that'd be all right. How about you, Jeremy? Are we talking actual skywriting, or are we seeing clouds? Clouds. That look like whatever. Are, uh, is it cursive? Yeah. Because I'll be honest with you, the more creative, <laughs> most creative uh, <laughs> skywriters are the ones who do cursive or calligraphy, sky calligraphy. You yeah, don't yeah. see that very often. I don't know if you could tell, but I don't have anything yet. And what I'm about, stalling. <laughs> what, about is, uh, what about skyroglyphics? Yeah. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Where it's just yeah, it's just symbols. <laughs> Uh, just a bunch of emoji clouds. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to say your last will and testament. <laughs> okay. Because that you'd have to pay a lot for that. Yeah, for sure. And signing it? Fuck that. Yeah. Let uh, alone notarized. Right. Uh, next question. What? Lines you'd never hear during an adult film. <sighs> for the 10,000th time. I'm just here to fix your pipes. <laughs> Please put your tits away. I'm a happily married man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. I actually have a good one for this one. Um, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Mm -hmm. The Lord's Prayer. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Yeah, we, how about you, Jeremy? all familiar. Okay. How about you, Jeremy? Um, okay. Does it actually have to be a line? No. Here? Because I would like to see them actually bicker and argue over, no, you got my order wrong on the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fuck when you bring it back with, without anchovies, motherfucker. <laughs> Whose dick is this? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess a line on. that you would probably hear is just, you know, I really respect you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hear that a lot in porn. No, you don't. Put your clothes back on. Or what about... What do you mean you're only 18? Gross! <laughs> you're somebody's daughter! Yeah. That's true. <laughs> you know what? I don't want to do anal today. <laughs> All right. Uh, last one. I fart when I come. <laughs> that's, that'd be in there. No, I think. I think that's actually a real thing. <laughs> Orgasmo, man. I'm pretty sure that's what he says, didn't it? I don't think yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, last one. Rejected slogans for Skittles. Skittles. Made from the skin tags of obese unicorns. Oh, my God. Uh, Skittles. Eat me. Easy enough. Rail the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. All right. Well, that is questions and preguntas for this week's episode. Again, if you have any ideas, you can send them to us at laughing on the sidelines on Instagram and uh, TikTok. So check us out there. And if you're not already following us, please go do that. Uh, now we get to move on to, I don't know, a very popular part of every single episode. This is what the we like. The end. No, not quite. This is what we like to call the laughing on the sidelines draft.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. And um, we've got uh, some big announcement. Uh, Scotty has won two drafts in a row. Uh, yeah, you belt's got, on its way. I was getting ready to say, there's another belt coming. I, I guarantee it. Fucking bitch. Probably <laughs> for fucking free, too. Uh, yeah, I know. I know, but I just got better taste in, uh, in music, I think. That's what it is. No, you don't. It's rap. I, that's... Good that's music. music. That's great music, in fact. Uh, but this week's draft is going to be the worst musical instruments of all time. Okay? Of all time. Of all time, Oh, man. boy. Yeah. So, anyways, um, I get uh, the championship picks. Derek has uh, got second, so he's in the middle. Jeremy uh, got dead last, so you get the very first pick of the worst musical instruments of all time draft. All right. We got the sitar. <laughs> the sitar? What is that? That's that. Okay, it looks like a really long guitar thing that you play sitting down. Um, uh, God, like a lot of... Uh, Country music? No, that's, uh-huh. a, that's a steel guitar. Okay, got it. Um, you know what? I'll, I'll pull up some sitar music. You, let's go, <laughs> proceed with the draft, <laughs> and I'll... Uh, okay. Uh, Derek? Uh, the... Yeah. For, yeah, trying to figure out how to pronounce it. Uh oh, Vuvuzela. Oh, Vuvuzela. Vuvuzela. What yeah. is that? That's that thing that they were blowing at the World, World Cup. Cup. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That, one note to them. Yep. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. That is bad. Um, I got uh, let's see two picks. So I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna go with the accordion. Okay. mm Hmm. And. Uh, I'm going to go with the Jew harp. You know what that is? A really inexpensive guitar? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Made of gold? No, that's the thing that you see all them twangy hillbilly peoples putting it up to your jaw. And oh, they mouth make harp. Mouth harp. That's yeah. a jaw harp, not a <laughs> the Jew. <laughs> I've heard it called a Jew harp before. Not, not by anybody who knows anything. <laughs> Uh, well, that's that's what I was told it was called. <laughs> How about you, Derek? Your next pick. Hang on, before we go on, I need to take this in. One, two. Okay, the sitar is an Indian instrument, but I know you've heard that. Oh wait, uh, that's an I advertisement. Know, I think I know what it is. Okay. Hang on, I got to get past this fucking ad. Okay. Hey. Ha- uh, how do you guys like your hydrogen peroxide whitening toothpaste? <laughs> I love it. I'm, I like to use juice paste. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I prefer. Oh, shit. God damn, this is a long fucking ad. <laughs> well, get premium, damn it. Yeah, don't be such a Jew. <laughs> That's, that sitar music at its finest. Sounds like a cricket to me. I think there are crickets in but This is supposed to be relaxing to go to sleep with. This yeah. would piss me off. <laughs> For what it's worth, that is actually the correct name of the, the jaw harp. It is actually called a Jew's harp. Jews, not Jew. <laughs> no. You, the way you say it, a harp's a fucking Jew. That's, you, you put stank on the Jew part, and... Uh, I yeah. mean, you're not wrong. Yeah. He's like, would you like some orange juice? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That'd be weird. Uh, okay, Derek, you get your second pick, dude. Triangle. The triangle. Damn it. <laughs> That's a good one. I kind of have an idea of where you're going with your next pick. Uh, Jeremy, you get two. I'm going to go with the didgeridoo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Damn it. <laughs> okay. And the uh, theremin. What the hell is that? Oh, it's the worst. <laughs> it's what it is. <laughs> it is this, uh, some Russian guy invented it, but it it's an electrical instrument that you, pl- you put a wire onto your finger and then you take your other one and the distance between your hands controls the pitch of it and it makes that. Oh, God. Yeah, no. And it fucking sucks. Yeah. I'll pull up some theremin music. <laughs> okay. Uh, Derek, you get a pick, bud. Oh, gosh. Got to go with cowbell. Damn it. I was hoping that that would get back. God damn. More cowbell. That's right. That's a good one. 
Uh, okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to first, I'm going to take, I'm going to go with the kazoo. Yeah, I was going to go there if I didn't yeah, go cowbell. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. And then the last one, I'm going to go with the ukulele. Yeah, I was going to go there too. Yeah. All right, Derek. The spoons. Damn it. God, that's the dumbest thing. But God, people can get into that shit. Spoons. All right. Go ahead and go there, Jeremy. The calliope. (laughs) Oh, I've heard of that. What in the fuck is that? That's that that steam organ that plays the creepy circus music. Oh, (laughs) yeah. Yeah. That fucking clown at Joyland. Yeah. I I Fuck that thing. <laughs> okay, your last uh, last pick, Jeremy. Uh, the jug. The jug. Damn it. Fuck. All right, Derek, you get the last pick. Mm. Can't believe it's a cowbell. Why? I don't know. Because I wanted it. Because you got a fever. Yeah. <laughs> fever for more cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> the only prescription is more cowbell. All right. Gosh. There's one I want to go with, but I think I'm going to have to go with something different. Okay. I'm going to go with the crash symbol. Okay, good, because I think you were going to take the one that I was going to take. All right, crash symbol. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go with the keytar. No, I wasn't going to go with that. Oh, you weren't going to go with that? No. Oh, that's my last pick, the keytar. Do we have any more honorable mentions here? Tambourine. Yeah, that's a dumb one, too. Steel drum. I think those are kind of cool. Singing saw. What? The singing. Woo. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was going to go there. Uh, if I'm being, like, really serious, it would be my number one pick, but the double guitar. Have you seen those? Yeah, I've I, seen them. I fuck don't, them. That's just, you don't play them both at the same time. Well, you can try. You don't know what I can do. <laughs> but the other one I was thinking of was just, like, the tuba. That's just too fucking big. The recorder. The recorder. Fuck. Yeah, played uh, that in middle school. We oh, all did. Damn it. That is a fucking good one. <laughs> oh, how the fuck did we not do the recorder? I thought about the, what is it, the cello? Yeah. That giant fucker. I was going to say tuba, too, but there's just something about a fat guy walking in a room and the tuba going. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Just now, what most people think giggle. of as a tuba is actually a sousaphone, mm-hmm. guys, which yeah. is a tuba made for a marching band, um, which one of those is I, – I, I love the sousaphone, hate the tuba. Uh, <laughs> oh, God damn it. What was that other one? Oh, the, uh, the soprano sax. That's yeah, what, that's what Kenny G plays. Yeah, bagpipes. Uh, I think oh, I ba- love bagpipes. Bagpipes are the shit, man. Those are the ah, oh, those are so good. They're but, fucking expensive. My dad wanted a set, really, and just for a basic set is like five thousand dollars. Oh wow, yeah, they're really expensive. Oh man, well, well, that is our draft for this week. Uh, I will put the draft up uh, Wednesday hey. before noon. Surprise, hang on Jeremy. a sec here. What? I'm gonna play some theremin. Oh, my. Fuck that. But you can change the pitches and shit. I mean, they're very versatile. Uh, Wow. I'm surprised Jeremy didn't just pick every instrument in the band stomp. Yeah. Trash can lid. (laughs) Feet. Feet. You know why? Because those aren't fucking instruments. (laughs) Fuck you and your $400 ticket stomp. (laughs) Oh. I was so happy when I saw they were coming and I got to send that to you. Oh, good God. Well, anyways, that is our draft for this week. Again, you can go to our Facebook page, which is at Laughing on the Sidelines, or Facebook, Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines, and you can vote for your favorite list of shitty inter, inter, or shitty instruments. God, I can't talk. Uh, see who wins uh, next week. Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer. And Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, On the morning of uh, June 30th, 1956, TWA Flight 002 departed from Los Angeles in their Lockheed 
L-1049 Super Constellation, one of the larger uh, commercial aircraft at the time, uh, with 64 passengers. Uh, they left from Los Angeles, headed for Kansas City Downtown Airport. Uh, they flew just out of radio range, which at the time they, they couldn't quite span. There were portions of the country that were kind of in radio silence, but they went into uh, radio silence just over the Grand Canyon. Now, when they expected to reacquire radio connection, they never did. And uh, after an extensive search, they found that they had wrecked into the, uh, into the Grand Canyon. Uh, yes. Once they did a wider search of the area, they found out why. Uh, they collided in midair <laughs> with um, United Airlines Flight 718, who they were also searching for, uh, in their Douglas DC-7 with 53 passengers on board. Everybody died, <laughs> bringing the death total to 117 passengers in by far the most deadly mid-air collision ever recorded in the history of airline flight. And now your child can recreate the magic of that moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, you are now free to move about the country. <laughs> <laughs> that is my nightmare. Oh, God. That Do you know be... how unlikely it is <laughs> oh my for God. two planes to be flying at the exact same altitude yeah. and meet at the exact same point? I mean, that's about like Randy Johnson hitting that bird. It's <laughs> fucking ridiculous, the odds of that happening. Okay. Oh, God. Well, all right. Well, uh, what's this week's uh, shitty situation? Anybody? Mm -hmm. No. No? Okay, fine. Uh, this week's shitty situation is, would you rather watch... Or I'm sorry, jerk off to obese porn, or jerk off to amputee porn. Spank the monkey. Either way, I get to jerk off, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you do. Oh my god! <laughs> and For those who are just listening, that was the sound of Derek finishing jerking off. <laughs> That's what it sounds like, uh -huh. folks. Oh, my God. It's been in there a while. Why does that scare the shit out of me? I don't know. <laughs> you literally squeezed an empty water bottle behind my ear. I have an idea because you're a coward. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. God. Uh, you're dude, hiding behind you should, that beard as it is. Yeah. You should coach the Chiefs. I should. God damn it. Dad, you just shit in your pants you in the movie. couldn't any worse. <laughs> So what would you rather do? Would you rather spank the monkey to obese porn or spank the monkey to amputee porn? Well, God, I've seen myself naked and it's disgusting. <laughs> yep. I'm, I'm going to have to go with amputee porn. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, and, I'm, and I know it can't be like, oh, she's missing a finger. Like, she's got to be missing a fucking limb. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I would go amputee porn, I think. There's still some pretty hot amputees. Mm -hmm. For sure. They're not hot obese people. <laughs> <laughs> I, BBW, big beautiful woman, doesn't exist. <laughs> it's full of shit. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, we're talking those... Oh my uh, god! I'm, I'm talking like those 500 pound. Oh yeah, yeah. Those those chicks on my 600 pound life, uh, where you can't even see their pus. <laughs> you just gotta roll them around in flour and look for the wet spot. <laughs> no. Oh <I'm> no. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Thanks for no the <laughs> no. <laughs> Thanks for the mental image, yeah. Derek. Appreciate it. Hey, give me that one legged skank. <laughs> You have no idea. Yeah. You might be in a fold. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, go amputee. Yeah. Oh, man. I have seen some hot amputees. Uh, I have not seen a hot obese woman. Your sister. Yeah. She's yeah. a hot amputee. There you, there you go. Mm -hmm. For sure. Well, she's Speaking both. of Grand Canyons. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thing you don't know about Scotty's sister, she's both an amputee and obese. <laughs> <laughs> so she's like a double genre. Right. She's got her own category on Pornhub. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, I'm I'm also going to go with the amputee. I can see a fat person naked anytime I want. <laughs> um, that doesn't do anything for me. What I would really like to see. I didn't know you opened up that picture I sent you. <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, it, of course I did. Well, you left it on red. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what I really would like to see is fresh amputee porn. Where they still have the 
Like maybe they can cut some of the sutures. Oh, and then, oh God. Uh, uh, you're welcome. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. Let me stick my dick in your elbow. <laughs> oh, God. Let me side pocket you. <laughs> Let me fuck that nub. Oh, that's disgusting. What have they made? Like, I just want to see really unenthusiastic porn. Oh, yeah. yeah that's just like lethargic. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, want to fuck? Uh, <laughs> I guess. Make it quick. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be the half-assed fucker. And I'm just going to pull my penis through the hole of my boxers. I'm not even going to just <laughs> whip the whole thing out. Like, I think it'd be that's great. only missionary. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> just, and you could just tell she's thinking about something else. Like, she just got a lifeless look in her eyes. Oh, yeah. She's, she's on her phone. Sitting there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she's checking her watch. <laughs> she's texting her she's friends. Like, she's just sitting there. Yeah, harder, deeper. Yeah, mm, I love it. Yeah. She, she, she doesn't even act mad at it when she spits on it. <laughs> uh, I, I guess I'm going that route. I'm, I'm going to go with that. Unenthusiastic. No, that's not I, a choice. Damn it. Yeah, it's not. Okay. I'll stick with amputee. Okay. All right. Well, uh, guys, that is uh, this week's episode of the Can Laugh you get your post amputated? Sure. All right. Yeah. I know they I print. know you can, Scotty. For sure you can. I know that for a fact. I have a penis down there now. Huh. Yeah. So uh, you not, sure? Not what I heard. Uh -huh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, that is this week's episode. Uh, do we have any dates, Derek? Yeah, next weekend. Okay. I will be at the Looney Bin Comedy Club, February 10th through the 12th. All right. So take your Valentine there. Let me insult her and fuck her right in front of you. <laughs> Especially <laughs> if she's an amputee. Right. Uh -huh. Absolutely. That will be a combination of obese and amputee porn. That's right. How about you, Jeremy? And unenthusiastic. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? No, no. Uh, I guess uh, next Sunday I'll be at Steve's. This is coming. Hopefully. This coming Sunday. Yeah, this coming Sunday, uh, Jeremy and myself will be at uh, Ginger Crush Steve Peters's house, and we're just gonna go live on uh, YouTube. Just to you know, have so have some fun. Make the Pro Bowl a little bit more entertaining. I think by not watching it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're gonna have to watch it. Uh, no, then I'm not going to be there. <laughs> Fine. We won't watch it. We'll just sit there and shoot the shit for an hour or so. Yeah, that would be way better. Okay. In fact, if you could not be there, <laughs> that would really spice things up. No. We could just like pretend you're there. Uh-huh. And be that there way you'd be a lot more clever. I'd be there in spirit. I don't like that either. <laughs> really? I'd like for you to not be there and for us to forget that you exist. Right. Well, all right, guys. Thank you very, very, very much for tuning into this week's episode. Uh, do us a favor. Keep on sharing the TikToks. Uh, that helps us out a lot. Commenting helps us out a lot. Um, you know, do what you're pretty much doing. We are coming up on a quarter of a million followers. That's pretty impressive, considering how many sound bites have been stolen and used on TikTok for uh, you know other channels that have more. But uh, thank you guys very much. As always, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us, uh, we hope you get trapped in a broken elevator with Jackson Mahomes and Brittany Matthews. <laughs> oh, damn! After a Chiefs win, <laughs> oh. and I hope it's not an Otis. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us. Tell your enemies. And until next time. Who day? <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care.